Welcome to Metroid Prime Hunters. Act Imagine. So in 2004, the Nintendo DS hit the scene. Oh, it, that's... It, it boasts really good uh, uh, video codec to play really nice video, and it's got, you know, 3D graphics and all that. Uh-huh. So, uh... Nintendo decided after the success of Metroid Prime 1 and the continued development of Metroid Prime 2 to make a demo for their uh, DS Metroid game they were making in-house called Metroid Prime Hunters. This is Metroid Prime Hunters' first hunt. It came with a lot of the first launch of uh, regular Nintendo DS's and uh, it shows off all the great capabilities that the DS has. So we'll, we'll be showing off the training today. There are three main game modes that the game expects you to <clears throat> beat. Regulator, Survivor, and Morph Ball. Hmm. So for Regulator here, we have to destroy all the hologram targets before time expires. We'll give that a try now. Oh, they did the jingle, that's cool. Oh my DS game. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Well, okay, it's moving pretty smoothly. Didn't expect that. Man, does this look weird. Yeah, so the, the way I'm holding it, is L fires, right? Okay. The L button fires. You, you, you uh, strafe with the control pad, you know, move forward, then move left, then move right. But to, like, turn your head into aim, you use the touch screen. Oh. Oh, goody. And they were still kind of trying to figure out how the touch screen would exactly work. Oh. Okay. I see the thought process behind it. I, I see where they're coming from. It takes some getting used to, and uh, really, after playing Metroid Prime 1, and uh, by extension 2, uh, this feels kind of okay. Nice analog, you know, aiming, it just, it just a bit of a learning curve, but you, know, you can get used to it, but uh, there is a serious problem with this demo, gameplay-wise. Do you see that little bar on the right on the top screen there? Is that limited ammo? Your power beam has limited ammo. Why? I don't know. Is it? Oh. You already have missiles. To switch between missiles and your regular power beam, you press those little buttons down there. Oh, and it takes ten away from you. Your morph ball is uh, that little flap on the left there. Oh. Yeah. No. Uh, this will not oh. carry over to the to the real game. So that's how they stop you from playing more. They just literally take away your ability to shoot. When you but uh, when you uh, when you run out, you don't like run out of power beam. You just can't shoot as fast. You only like you know, pew, pew, pew. one at a time. Puny, slow, maddening, awful, bad, 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 bad. Because gamers like to, you know, shoot to pass the time, going between, uh, you know, rooms. Maybe they miss sometimes, especially when you have to shoot to open fucking doors! Shouldn't punish them for using their ammo like that. I mean, what ammo in, 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 in your starting power beam? Well, it also doesn't help that a lot of people who got this game bought Metroid Prime. So they're expecting to go pew 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 all over the place. Now, Metroid Prime 2 has a very bad ammo problem. Can't wait for that. Yeah, so I, I think they wanted to, you know, flex on that a little bit more, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there, there's more. Oh, oh damn it's it. so weird. Yeah. Oh, it looks weird. It do, it does take getting used to. It is, uh, but, I, would, I wouldn't say it's a chore to play, but around this time, if you wanted to take a good first person shooter with ah! you, you didn't, you didn't have that many options. I mean, PSP was your best bet, and uh, <laughs> trying to, try to play games on PSP, what are you, are you crazy? I love the PSP. So we're watching movies, what are you talking about? Oh, God, I hate it. UMDs, wave of the future. <laughs> wasn't quite you, was it? Nope. It wasn't me, Doctor. It wasn't quite universal, I mean. Well, I mean, it was just, it was a bad medium. They tried, it didn't really work. So these are not really Metroids. Yeah, they're like bot droids or something like that. It's like pet Petrosils or something, I think they're called. Maybe bok choys. That's a vegetable. Uh, maybe Helen of Troy. That's the one who started the Greek War in uh, the Iliad. Uh, maybe they're Animorphs. Those are usually animals, not uh, 
sci-fi creatures like this. Maybe they're... That's a real Metroid! Oh no! Two missiles! 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 Okay, got it. End of demo. Thank you for playing. You've destroyed the last Metroid in Wait captivity. Wait a minute. That's right. These are all holograms. Oh, so it's like Metroid Prime VR mission. Y you know, that's very apt. Pretty, God. pretty appropriate, too. It, it is essentially Met Metroid Prime VR missions. God, I would love it if your, your using bombs actually took away from your ability to shoot. De what? You're almost dead, by the way. No, no, I got one more E-Tank up there, too. Oh, okay. I got those, uh, those five empty squares, one five of those e tanks Five E-Tanks. I have a hundred- I have a hundred and fourteen, actually. So here is a little AI-controlled, uh, Samus Hunter person. Because the biggest focus on this is not the single player, believe it or not. You're almost dead. It's multiplayer. Fuck, that's right! This game was big, uh... big, big, big on multiplayer. Well, how successful was it? Well, uh, the DS and Wii uh, Nintendo Wi-Fi connection service is no longer functioning. It has not for several years, so I couldn't tell you. See, I, I and, and we're dead, but it's okay. They're they're uh, going for time. We only have four and a half minutes left to kill this guy. See, I remember when Nintendo was so big into online play because it was the newest thing. They're just so bad at it. Because Diamond and Pearl brought along, you know, DS uh, DS battles. Mario 64 DS had multiplayer. So, yeah, I, I see where they were going with it. Hey, you did it. Yep. Power Super Performance Analysis complete. So this counts as clearing this mode. Didn't do much for points, though, but, you know, hey, whatever. I don't really care. It's fine. What are the points used counts. for in a demo? So, uh, just for fun, I'm gonna show off the control type that they tried to make work on this one. You have your stylus mode, which is what I've been doing. You yeah, know, that, that's, that's the default. Makes sense. Dual mode that doesn't need the, the uh, touchscreen, but doesn't feel as good aiming-wise, I'm sure. Dual mirror mode for left-handed folks. Yeah, well, uh, okay. same thing for the, for the shoot-in. Shoot mode. Tap the screen to shoot. Oh my god. Yeah, tap the screen to shoot. So I think for this next one, we're gonna go to this broken, busted, unused control scheme to take care of Survivor. Exterminate the... Z Xenomorbs? The Xenomorbs before they exterminate you. Basically, just how long can you last? Let's see. Limited ammo, who knows? Well, it's a good thing they only take two shots. Wow, is that aim assist? Nope, I'm tapping where I want to aim, and the beam just goes there. <laughs> doesn't actually show you moving. So, this is why it doesn't work. So, if you need to look around, you have to use the touch screen, right? So, you can't shoot and look at the same time? But if you touch the touch screen, you'll shoot. So you have to shoot something if you want to look around. But or if you- or, and, and to jump in this game, there's a button you can push, but you also- Double tap on the touch screen to jump. Not anymore. So, but you also have limited ammo. So if you use this method and you want to look around or jump, it's going to cost ammo. This is awful. This is amazing. I don't know what you're talking about. Five, four. What? <laughs> yeah, oh. it's. We're gonna run out here, but wait, Three, there, there, two, one, there, there's some more. Eh. Oh, hey, look, shotgun shells, quick, pick them up. That's how fast you fire when you don't have any ammo left. Mm, why is this a mechanic in a Metroid Prime game? That's what I mean when Nintendo can't make a good, uh, good Metroid game in-house. Not anymore. Not ever. Well, I mean, the not, old, the not old ever ones cough, cough, Super differ. Metroid. Yeah, the old ones beg to differ. Has every Metroid game been made by a, a new blood? Uh, there's been there's been some folks who have. Uh, boy, how do I turn into more Paul? Wait, how do I? Which which button is it? Just shoot. Everything can oh. be solved by shoot. I think it was like X or something. I don't know. That's a Metroid. All right. Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Ah! You got Jesus! 
God, this makes me miss the DS era. Ah, oh, that was... That was I, such an amazing era. I don't miss it that bad, though. Oh, there's so many good memories. So many good memories. Can't get under there. How do I... Whatever. And so much jank. All the jank in the world. Yeah, there's some jank, I'm not gonna lie. So you never did mention why you wanted to check out the demo first. Was it just for the... Just for the jankiness? It's for the jankiness, it's it's just for completion's sake. Because this is part of the Metroid Prime Hunters uh, uh, canon, I think. You know, kind of like how uh, Metro, uh, Metal Gear Solid Five Ground Zeroes was a thing before Phantom Pain came out. This is basically Metroid Prime Hunters Ground Zeroes. Also, they made a big thing about this uh, touchscreen style of, uh, of control. But did they actually try it? I think that I think it's one of those things. You know, this is one of the things that Nintendo always does. They try a thing, and then later on in the in development, they go, "Nothing's working. This isn't working at all." And then they just scrap it. So I think that this whole uh, use a touchscreen to shoot at your enemies thing, I think it, it it worked good in you know the the in theory in in theory on paper, but in practice, it's like, oh wait, something's got to give. Yeah. Uh, Nintendo, whenever you want to drop your gimmicks, I'll be more than happy to- yeah! ah! no, get, get off, get off, get off, get off! I'm ready to die anyway, so actually, why don't you just take me, Metroid? Take me! Oh, wait, so this keeps going until you die. Yeah, I think you need to get like 100 kills or something like that to count it as past. Oh, good god, no, please die. Or like, get, get like 100 just, points. Just start uh, running into yeah, things, yeah, please. I, I, I don't know, just, yeah, just... Just suck me dry. Kill a lot of things, get, use a lot of missiles, just, 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 just get good, essentially. Learn how to play the game before the game comes out. Right. I mean, this is 2004, Metro Prime Hunters didn't come out until like 2006, so this is all you had for a while. Holy shit, wow. Two more years of development time? Uh-huh. That does not look great. Well, when I put it together, it'd be fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, the two screens squashed together. There's a big missing pelvis that <laughs> that uh, Samus doesn't have. So the last thing, uh, well, for, first of all, excuse just get, me, get, yeah. getting out of please this. Please go back get, to a usable. Get, get, there we go. Well, ha halfway usable. I mean, for, for making a first-person shooter on the DS, this is about as good as you can get. Test your Morph Ball abilities. Yep, this one's basically just use Morph Ball, roll into the things, and it's Superman 64. Uh, Go! Collect the balls. Collect the balls, do it in time, but uh, try to get a good score, too. So is this control stick? Or a uh, cir circle pad, technically? Oh wait, no, this would be a D-pad on a DS. It's just a D-pad. Oh no! Oh man, I was so spoiled on the 3DS. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. Well. Wait, did you get hurt by touching the wall? I think it was electrified or something. Oh okay. Dude, what are you doing? Lex is gonna win. I'm try. Don't I'm let try. Lex win. I gotta save Jimmy save, Olsen. Save Jimmy and the professor. <laughs> Love save, him. Here the end. There we go. Save Lois yeah. Lane. So, if you get. All three of these, uh, little, uh, challenges completed. Mm hmm? Yeah, you know, the survivor one, of course, you need to get more, get more of them, but... You get a little special glowing dot there in the bottom left, you probably noticed. Yeah. Hmm, I wonder what that does. Let's see. Press it, press it, press it, press it, press it, press it, press it. Wait, movie? Movie? Okay. It's the opening cutscene of Metroid Prime Hunters. Look at her dramatically Whoa! kneel down. Whoa! That compression, baby! Yeah! Wait. She kneeled down and glares at some pirates, and then it zooms in, and, well, hey, see you when the game comes out. The real. <laughs> oh, shit! I need to go to that website! It's probably a dead website, unfortunately. Probably redirects to Nintendo.com or something. Most likely, yeah. That's what they all end up being. Well, uh, now I can take this cart out of my DS and get it out. We could do multiplayer, Wait, but... that was you know, a cart? Wanna... Oh, yeah, that was a cart. It was a cart? A demo cart? It came with the fucking... It came, it came with the DS! What?! Did you not know this?! I didn't get it! 
Well, next time on Metroid Prime Hunters, we're what? gonna we're gonna do the real game, Dude, the you, real game on a history. real cart. You have some history. No, I meant just the demo. See you next time.